Hi, welcome back to this YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be painting the trim on this 2005. And I went to the Benny Moore store and I picked up this SEM. This is the medium gray. It's actually, I think, a Chrysler gray. But uh, it's closest that I could see that would fit this. I've actually bought a lot of paint in my lifetime. Uh, I would normally go to Sherman Millions, but uh, this time I went to more Benjamins and I got the uh, the bumper coater from SEM this is the 39183 I have everything taped off and basically I just need to shake it up and start spraying so I have six cans hopefully that'll be enough now I'm gonna go over it I have it previously power washed just yesterday very close with just a 110 electric power washer and I'm gonna go ahead with this SEM stuff this this was $22 for a 12 ounce can and I got six of them so it's not cheap but we'll see what we get it's a little bit windy today actually it's a little bit windy and there's a chance of rain so I see clear skies and I don't know maybe I'll hold up a big shield or something if it gets too windy but uh, I have an extra can or so so I should be okay there are some imperfections here that I could sand out and maybe fill but I don't think I'm going to do that. You know, if I want the best looking car, there's a payment plan for that. So this is just kind of uh, just a touch up. <clears throat> so it has a nice fan. It's not conical. It's more like I mean, it's uh, it's vertical. Coverage already looks really thick. There's a lot of pigment. Now, normally I'd be wearing a, some kind of mask, but it's so windy today, and I'm doing a YouTube video. But if I wasn't doing a YouTube video, I do have like a force-fed mask that brings in fresh air, or I would at least maybe put on like a respirator or something. So I'm working kind of fast, about five inches off the surface, maybe six to seven. Heck, just one coat would probably look pretty sweet. If you're short on money, I mean, I'm not sure what it would look like in the sun, but just already with one coat, that's... At a traffic light, you're not gonna really have too many people notice it, I don't think. All right, so that was about half a can. I got pretty good mist coat on that bumper there. Now I did use one of my old uh, paper tape machines from 3M. These are like 60 bucks. They're probably 100 now with inflation, but it's very handy to have. Wow, this coverage is really not bad. If I had to say anything about the coverage, I would say it's at least an 8 out of 10. Because you know you buy these cans and you just wonder if they're going to cover.
Like I'm sure a two pack might do a little better on a lot of occasions. I know if you're a professional painter, you're gonna watch this and, and think, yeah, but what comes out of my gun is 10 times better. But just for a single pack paint, this is really extremely convenient. Almost want to do all the coats in one. And just have it done. Five coats. It it flashes pretty quick, but uh, it doesn't like the sheen. It, they they make it look like it's going to be shinier. It really looks like a uh, satin finish, even though the cap would make you think it was gloss, and even the salesman was going to say gloss. Uh, so far, I would almost say satin, honestly, but. Uh, you know, I still have a few more coats to go, so. So far, you can see it's clean up the appearance of the car. If I pulled this tape down just with that, it would be a big change. Now, I have no affiliation with the company, uh, other than I used to buy a lot of paint, and I was always pretty happy with it. Um, I hadn't bought this SEM paint, though. I bought a lot of Benjamin Moore and Sherman Millions, but uh, been getting more into the car work, so give this a shot. You know, I'm not sure how great this angle is here, but you should at least be able to see how this wheel well goes. You know, there's some scratches and imperfections, but uh, like I said, we know how to get a new car. You go talk. You know, I'm spraying a little bit close because it's it's windy. You might be able to hear the trees. They're kind of wisping. So I was worried that I was going to have to... I was going to need a lot of these cans, but I've already gone around half of the car. More than half the car, probably. At least half, and I still have a third of a can left. So coverage is a big issue. And I had actually read that on uh, Reddit. Someone said they got really good coverage with two cans and did the whole car. And I couldn't believe it. I was like, that's gotta be a sales pitch. This can't be. But uh, like I said, no affiliation other than uh, I'm a customer. Now people, you know, no affiliate means that you're not going to make any money off of it, but being a customer can be some of the the best affiliation you can have actually because uh, you get the most benefit sometimes depending on the company it reminds me a little bit of my eBay store uh, GB hatchery I sell a lot of used items on the internet and uh, I'll leave a link in the description you can always buy from me I have a lot of used items on eBay GB hatchery Now I'm getting toward this grill, I'm a little worried because it's possible that I would paint my radiator and that would not be cool. So maybe I'll spray down a little bit through this grill so as to hopefully not have a problem. Yep. So if you've never sprayed paint before, this might not be a good job to be your first like go get an old mower get some dollar dollar cans from home depot or something and see if you can get good at it before going on into a car because there's there's a threshold of how much paint it'll take before it starts dripping and you really got to know what that is you could eyeball it from what i'm doing but uh it's better to do some thin mist coats first and then move into some heavier coats later or just do several medium sized coats but you just don't want to do a too heavy coat which uh, most people's life experience tells them that without me having to say anything but I just thought I'd put that out there
Oh, it's already looking so much better. Hopefully it lasts. You know, sometimes these things, they look really nice. You know, like you paint your driveway or something and then the winter goes and kills it and just makes it look horrible. So, I don't know, from what I've been reading though, that the, uh, the longevity is not real bad with this stuff. It's pretty acceptable actually. Now, while a person might just go out and buy a can of spray paint of any design, this is nice because it's designed for what it's for. Is what I'm doing is what the uh, the paint maker anticipates, so problems can be thought of and avoided just in the formulation. You know, they know I'm going to go multiple successive coats. They know I'm expecting it to cover. If it doesn't do that. You know, maybe it would do better on a long chair. Also, flexibility comes into play. A lot of the plastic paints are designed to be a lot more flexible. So that if you, if it's the dead of winter and things start moving around a little bit, that it doesn't just come flying off. So yeah, for a first coat, that's already looking pretty darn good. You can see it's flashed off here on this side. Now in, in certain sunlight, that's not going to look perfect. That's why we do several coats. You know, might not want to go to a, a car show or something like that with it, but as far as walking out of work and not feeling robbed, this is the way to go. All right, so that's it for this can. I went all the way around. You can see the only part left is right here under these doors and pretty darn good coverage. Now, is the sheen perfect? Not at all. It's gonna need probably at least three coats, but just with one coat, that's not bad at all. And uh, the can sprays really nice. It's a nice, like a uh, vertical fan. So you get even coverage that way. And you can see they blend very nicely. So it's well designed. Pretty good design system, actually. I'm gonna grab another can, be right back. So I'm here in Michigan, I did go to uh, G&E. It's like GNC, but it's for paint. G&E paint centers. And uh, I had to go to two different stores. One had this and the other had that. But they had the same number, 39183 medium gray. But they did change uh, the, these might be older or newer, but it says, Made in USA, so that's interesting. It looks like the spray tip might be a little bit different from one to the next. If you notice, the spray tip is different. So I believe you can move these so you can adjust the fan depending on how you want it usually I think I don't know we'll have to see maybe not but uh, different ty types of tips on there these were bought on the same day from two different stores the only stores that had this in stock now you can also buy it on Amazon and I think it ships pretty fast and uh, probably Granger or something like that So I truly hope that this is the same thing. This is spraying differently, I have to say. This is spraying like a dollar can that you would get from Home Depot.
and it actually smells different. So that's that's strange. Looks about the same color though. This one doesn't spray as fine. It's more globby. So I'll be finishing up with that that other can first. I should have started with these first so I could finish up with those others. But it's a little bit different finish. It's really not as fine. If you see these in the store, this top works a heck of a lot better. I wonder if I could pull this off. Okay, I pulled it off. I'm going to put my preferred top on here. See what happens. Yeah, I don't know. It's just not the same animal. definitely a color match though and I'm thinking it's probably in the same same line of the formula so anyway I'm gonna let that kick and then uh, we'll do some more coats all right so I think I'm ready for a second coat here this one's a little more globby with this style can but it actually helps it look more like the factory finish on these parts because they're always kind of globby anyway has kind of a texture this actually seems to mimic that texture so if you got either can I don't think it would be necessarily a bad thing this one has less pressure though this one's definitely a lot more pressurized but it could be by design this uh, this kind of can could be potentially the better look I don't know either way they match so it doesn't matter Yeah, that's laying down really nice, actually. I wish it was the other can. I like the other can better, but honestly, that's laying down just as nice. It's so windy today, I'm really worried about it blowing away before it hits the surface. I'm just doing the bottom blind. But uh, just with what I have here, seems like I'll be getting about four coats which seems to be about what people are doing, between three and five, depending on how light you go. I usually do a pretty decent coat, so my four coats could be just right on the money. All right, so there's the job. It's done. I did, I think, around four coats. I went through six cans of the spray, and uh, I kind of felt like I was done after four cans. I did have a little bit of uh, issue with this style can it was pooling I wasn't putting my fingers in front of it or anything but it was pooling the paint right here and then it would splatter it out so hopefully this is a discontinued can this one has more pressure it's a better spray it's wider has a nice fan it gets it down and it's finer so if you are buying this I would recommend this can so you can see there's a few spots where I had to kind of dab it to soak up some globs that had kind of been spit out at the surface 
and then I sprayed back over them. You know, I expected it not to be perfect. We all know how to get perfect. So this is just kind of, uh, just touch up, make it look nice for the summer. So I guess nothing left to do now but to take this paper off and see how this line turned out. I have this dull razor blade just in case make sure that this line I really don't want I know this has just been put down it's only been drying for about 40 minutes and so I don't really want to peel it up sometimes paint can peel back up when you pull the blue tape up blue tape is nice because it doesn't leave any residue behind so blue tape is very popular for a while they were doing green tape it was like duct tape or something and uh, they're rated. Usually blue tape is like uh, for, a, for a good week, 10 days, but they have different ratings. Some of the tapes uh, can be for up to a month because when the tape is out in the sun, it can get kind of gooey. You've seen the, the different tapes get gooey. So anyway, it's pulling up a decent line here without any hard work. Now when I laid this tape down, I just put it over and, and pushed my finger and then I used a razor blade to cut the edge. I was very careful with the paint to not scratch it. Okay, here we are, finished product. It'll probably dry even nicer over time. Looks like I forgot to take one wheel well off there. Rain's coming down already. I think it's set up enough that it'll stand up to anything. It's not a very sunny day but I can tell from the sheen that it's pretty trusty. I don't, I don't think it's gonna be real bad. Looks like nice new trim. Well, it's a good thing I'm done because the rain just started and I can see it's beating up nicely there. If you are interested in this product, I can say that uh, for so far for me, it's worked. Now, if it comes peeling off in sheets in the next six months, I'll definitely put something about that in the description. I, I really don't expect that. It was prepped very well with a power washer. I probably could have used alcohol or something, but it was, it was really well power washed and it was dry and oxidized. So I think it's gonna hold on pretty well. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helps you make a decision. Always remember you can shop at my eBay store, GB Hatchery. I'll leave a link in the description. Other than that, I hope you're safe and healthy and I'll see you in the next video.